Uh, Bri and I came to CarMax to get an appraisal on her SI, and they gave her a really good price. They want to buy it for twenty-eight thousand five hundred, and she got this car for twenty-five thousand. So they're giving her three thousand five hundred extra, and she already put like forty thousand miles on it, and uh, it's a twenty twenty, and it has one accident. So for them to give her that much money for her car, with all of that. It's crazy because the car's worth more now than it was when it was on the lot brand new with no miles. And now's the time guys if you guys want to sell your car. <laughs> take it to CarMax, they give you really good prices, I guess, for your cars. If you want to get an appraisal, now's the time to sell your car. But right now is not the time to really buy a new car unless you can find a really good price. Mm -hmm. or a good deal. I wonder what they're gonna price this thing at. Probably like 35k once they put it on the lot. Yeah. So now we have seven days to find a type R for you. <laughs> it's been about three days later and we decided to take that offer. Well, Brianna did. Um, we both talked about it and we think it's a great offer. And um, yeah, we're headed to CarMax right now to drop off her car. That's just kind of sad because that was her first car that she learned how to drive to stick it. But uh, the Type R is like her dream car and that's the only car she can think of that she really wants and the only car she really wants right now. So we're gonna see if we can find a clean one. We still have not found one. She's sad to let it go, but I know she's gonna be a lot happier with her Type R. So I'm excited for her, I'm happy for her. I had put up this on Instagram. I put which one was sold and what car is next. So I put that one of these two cars was sold yesterday. Most of the people said the SI was sold for a Type R or um, the SI was sold for a GT3. And then a lot of people were saying BMW too. I can't believe some people said that I was gonna sell the S2000. I would never do that. I just got this car, I love this car. I love this car as much as I love my Z. And this thing isn't even fast. But just the driving experience you get from this thing is so much fun. But don't worry, it'll be fast soon. You guys will see. <laughs> we're working on some things right now with it. All right, we're picking up Bree's new car. Ooh, look how clean it is. You guys see it? She got rid of the red Ferrari. It's a 2021 Type R, it has 4,000 miles on it. You guys can see right there, everything's really clean. The only thing is that the guy changed out the shift knob to this one, which is from Honda. It's really sick, it has the R in red too. Nice and leather, it's a lot better than that silver ball that it comes with. Interior super clean in here though. So nice. You happy? Like my new car? <laughs> nah, you still gonna, you're I'm gonna take off those visors though. You're still gonna get smoked by the S2000 on the way home. Oh no. <laughs> hey yo, what's your number? She's crying. Aww. Some happy tears. sun hits it. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's fast now. <laughs> she's so happy with her new Type R. That's awesome. This is Bree's like dream car. I asked her what her dream car was and she said this pretty much is her dream car. Like, she likes Porsches too, but she's a Honda girl as you guys can tell. I really like 
like those holes right there in the bumper on the sides. It makes the front end look so aggressive. Yeah, who's that cutie in there? How do you like it so far? I love this car. He yeah. knows how much I love it. How does it feel compared to your SI? The steering wheel is a lot more stiffer. The clutch feels the same. Um, David was telling me it feels a little bit more like... I drove this car, but I only drove it last night to the park, like from one parking spot to the other to move the car. And the clutch feels like kind of like the S2000. It goes in consistently and comes out consistently. It doesn't doesn't get stuck like in the SI kind of got stuck like gum like I hate those kind of clutches where it gets stuck and then all of a sudden it comes out this one feels really consistent not as stiff as the S2000 a little bit softer but it's really nice super easy to drive and the steering wheel is all suede, suede. there's a lot of suede in here like all of, cool all of this is suede here it's just suede like these seats are so comfortable these are like they're kind of like my Recaro's but this part right here goes up a little bit more. So that's a lot better because this is really what hugs you like this. So does this part, but this part, I feel like this is what really keeps you in your seat when you're going through turns. They're really comfortable seats. They're really padded. They feel exactly like mine, but just more comfortable to sit in for a very long time. The Recaro's are comfortable, but these are a lot better. Oh uh, yeah, these visors, the <laughs> previous owner put them on. All they changed that was the yeah, shift knob, these glad, visors. Because I was planning on changing it. I hate the regular one. I hated the SI one too. It's just like a random little ball. Everything's really clean in here. It's like a really big upgrade compared to the SI. Like yeah. on the interior, exterior, everything. It's a really big upgrade. Yeah. It's like just the SI on steroids. That, that's what I look like with my shirt off. <laughs> like I'm on steroids. Swole. See the big wing back there? I get confused. Like I look at it and it I think that the trunk is open it's so high up. <laughs> but I'm really happy for you. Thank it's your you. new Type R. Is it recording? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. People will probably think I don't seem excited, but I am excited. I always tell David about the car, the color, everything. Like this, I feel like this car was meant for me. I've seen a few of them in my parents' garage because my brother's always working on so many Hondas. So anytime I would see this one, the Sonic Gray, I would always just like pull up to it, flash it with my iPhone light. And like, so you can see all the pearl. It's just yeah. not such sure if a it's like color. pearl or metallic. I don't know what to call it, but it just like, it looks like greenish. It looks really nice. I was iffy about the color, honestly, but. Yeah, you're, you didn't. You but I don't know it. why I was so iffy on it. It looks so good. You're like, are you sure you want to get that color? <laughs> I know. I was more leaning towards the the white, I guess. But this one actually shows like the body line so much more. Like you can see all the little details on the car a lot more with this color. It almost looks like a light Nardo gray. What are some of the first mods you guys want to see down to the Type R? What do you think? Intake, exhaust, coilovers, wheels. Honestly, more exterior. I'm not really focused on mods right now just because I think it's so perfect for me. Didn't you want an exhaust though? I wanted an exhaust for my SI because I hated that exhaust. I hated the HDMI exhaust. But for this one, I like it. Because when you get an exhaust, it makes it a lot more fun than driving a car that you can't even hear. That's why I don't like Teslas. No offense to everyone that owns Teslas. But it could be the fastest car in the world, but I will never probably like a Tesla. I've driven thousands of them. I've driven the, the new Plaid, I've driven about three of them already. And yeah, they're fast, but it's no fun driving experience with those cars. Yeah, I'd rather own a slow 140 horsepower car. That sounds good, like a Fiat Abarth. Those sound really good. Those are a lot more fun than driving a Tesla. The Fiat's? Yeah, those are fun. They make so many turbo sounds. They're one of the best sounding turbo cars out there, I swear. I really want to tint the windows. Okay. Plus, being a girl, it's always safer to have tinted windows, especially when you're driving alone. Yeah, girls need tinted windows because there's some weirdos out there. But you guys can comment below what you guys think we should do first to the Type R or what we should do first to the Type R. Alright, we're going to see how fast the Type R is. We'll do a second here coming out to the freeway. Oh, damn! I was losing traction. Obviously, I don't really 
Uh, I don't, I, I don't want to bang your gears yet. You know, when I, this is my first time driving this car. So I was just shifting really slow. I'm not trying to abuse your car that much. I'm just trying to get a feel for it, but it keeps pulling. Even when I went into like fourth gear, it was still pulling really hard. I haven't even done a second gear. I feel like it might feel faster than a NA 350Z, an HR. I feel like if you put this one at an HR, completely stock I don't know I feel like this one this one has top end so does HRs though but you heard it from uh, little David Garcia the type R has top end I don't know let me see let's do, <laughs> let's do another one just like a quick one do a third I remember when you could fill up with like 40 bucks or 35 bucks. Look at the little Type R, how it lights up. So cool. Oh, that's when I turn on the headlights too. So sick. Little red light bar on the sides. Then down here on your feet, some red lights. You can put it in sport mode, comfort mode, or R mode. Sport. Comfort. We keep it in R though. We stay ready. R for ready. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed, you guys can subscribe down below. If you guys want to see more content with the Z, the S2000, and then maybe we'll get some videos with uh, with Breeze Type R. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new car, and uh, I'll see you guys later.